National Journal of um, Gynecology and Obstetrics dedicates its um, October issue 2021 to preterm birth prevention and ne improving of neonatal outcome. Preterm birth is the leading cause of childhood mortality less than five years of age, it, and it's even more common than malaria, pneumonia, and diarrhea that are all well-known killers of children. In this area of papers called Good Clinical Recommendation, we are going to discuss what we believe is the most effective way of preventing preterm birth and improve outcome. My name is Bo Jakobsson. I'm a professor in obstetrics and gynecology at Sorgenska University Hospital, University of Gothenburg, Sweden, and I'm leading the FIGO working group on preterm birth. FIGO, the International OBGYN Society, hosts uh, some of the world leading experts in the working group and we have written 10 short easy read papers on preterm birth prevention. Each of these papers have some short fact-based paragraphs and after that a recommendation. Let me give you some examples. They might sound simple but remember that we believe that they might be the most effective ones. Of course, the first one. Of course, FIGO supports assistive reproductive technologies to achieve pregnancy and supports its availability in all nations. However, we want to highlight that the increased frequency of preterm birth must be considered. Therefore, before IVF treatment is started, other approaches, including expecting management, should be considered. And when IVF is started, single embryo transfer is the best approach to ensure a healthy live child. So that is the first easy single embryo transfer. Second, delayed cord clamping in the first minute of preterm birth infants life if they are born less than 34 weeks of gestation reduce neonatal mortality without increasing any other morbidity. So number two, do later cord clamping. Number three, don't deliver babies preterm without a strict and accepted indication. It's obvious. Don't deliver babies preterm without a strict and accepted indication. And the reason why we highlight this is that this has started to increase in the world. Four, we need registers and in the register we need individuals, data, and every individual counts. WHO has system for this, even for low and middle income countries, and the new technology makes this possible. So we need to get away from estimates of preterm delivery in different countries. We need to have real live data. I also want to update that, uh, uh, update, and we also wanted to update the current status of preterm birth prevention with the traditional cyclops, pessary, and progesterone. So there are an article of each of these. So we're really looking forward to see you download this information from International Journal of Gynecology Obstetrics, October issue 2021. And we're looking forward to see you and maybe if you want to hear more about this at the special session at the FIGO Global Meeting now in October 2021. Most welcome, looking forward, go home and prevent some preterm deliveries.